so welcome back again to another video the idea behind this video is that we can be able to use the crop effects to create the uh, lower the titles as you can see right now on your screen so let's get started with an example so here in the project bin right click and add a color clip and then we can select the clip and go to the clip property change the color to whatever color that we wanted to and then click ok Let's go back again to the project bin. Let's right click again and create another color clip. Click OK and then go to the clip property and change the color to another color again. Now once we're done with that, let's go to the project bin again. And now this time we're going to create a title clip. So let's uh, add a title clip. Let's align this to the center. And now let's uh, create that for now. And the first thing to bring in this uh, white uh, solid uh, color clip to the timeline and then followed by the pinky one and then followed by the title clip. Once we are there, what we want to do next is to apply the crop effects. So let's go to the effects in the sets bar here, just type in crop and you are given the option of crop by padding, crop scale and tilt and adds crop. So we're going to use the crop scale and tilt because it's got an um, option of adding keyframes. So let's uh, select this, apply this to the three clips. And then let's select the pinky one here and let's go to the properties of the effects here and then crop right. We just want to crop this all the way right. And then uh, let's do the same for the white one, crop um, right as well. So let's move the playhead somewhere here, select the white one and then add a keyframe. And uh, from the right, let's move this one back to bring in back the uh, solid clip again to its place. Uh, let's move in uh, 5 frame or 4 frame in, select the pinky one and then add a keyframe and move it back again. Uh, first of all, let's go to the beginning, select this keyframe here, which is this one here. And uh, from the left, let's just uh, crop out the text and then let's select this to see the uh, previous keyframe, which is this one here. So let's select that and then uh, two frames in and then select the text and uh, add a marker there and then bring in the text back again. And now let's move to the end of this uh, clip here, the outro, and then select the uh, title text, add a marker, do the same for the others as well, the other two solid clip, and then move in um, two frames or three frames and then select the title at the um, keyframe and then from the left uh, let's crop to remove the text again and then move in uh, three or four frame and select the uh, pinky one here add a keyframe and from the right let's just move this one again and then let's do the same for the white move in two or three frames add a keyframe from the right let's just move in back again now while here we can always add the uh, smooth for the final uh, keyframes here so select the keyframe and change this to smooth and uh, let's do the same for the text that so that's the first example so let's get started uh, right click in the project bin at the color clip click ok and then go to the clip properties and change the color we want to do the same again right click at another color clip click ok go to the clip properties change the color and then click OK. Now let's add a title clip. So right click, add a title clip, type in your title, and then click Create. And now let's bring in the uh, solid clip, the white to video track 2, pinky one to video track 3, and the um, title to video track 4. Now to insert new track, right click and insert a track. So the next step is to apply the crop effect to all of these three clip. So let's go to the effects here, type in here crop and you are given the option of crop by padding, crop adds and crop scale and tilt. So we want to use the crop scale and tilt. So select this and apply to this three clip which is the title clip and the two solid color clip. 
Now once you're done with that, make sure to get our maca or the playhead right to the end, uh, beginning of the clip and um, selecting the pinky uh, color clip here and uh, change from the bottom. Uh, let's just crop everything out. Let's do the same for the white, crop everything out. And uh, let's move in for the sake of this purpose, let's move in a little bit distance so we can see how the animation works. So moving in somewhere here, let's add another keyframe for the uh, white. And uh, let's bring in the white um, solid clip back into place, something like that, from the bottom, from the top. Let's bring the bottom, let's something like that, and then from the right, crop in. And now let's move in another two frame, one, two, and I'm um, selecting the pinky one here, add a keyframe, and then uh, bring the the crop from the bottom back in again so something like that now from the top down and then from the right okay so once we're done with this let's go to the um, title track and make sure to select the first keyframe here and from the crop left let's just kill this out or crop this out and then select the pinky one because that was the last maca uh, keyframe was here now let's move in uh, three or four frames and then select the title again and add your keyframe and um, let's just bring this text back again let's go to somewhere here and um, add a keyframe there let's add another keyframe on the pinky one and the white one let's set another keyframe and then move in somewhere here like four pipe frames in and then selecting the title we want the title to be uh, faded out first let's um, add another keyframe here and let's remove the title let's go to the pinky two or three frames in and then add a keyframe and then uh, bring this one all the way out and then do the same one two three or four keyframes there add for the white one and then bring this out so here is the panel okay so that's how we can create using the crop you can do any style of the lower text as you can see some examples that i have been uh, creating using the crop effect so um up to you whatever that you want to do with that uh, it all depends on how you crop from the left right top bottom or from the x and y value or tilt from y and x value Thank you again for watching and hope to see you back again in another video.